Hello, welcome to SmartBird 101. I'm your host, Robert Rocha. In our recent segments of using Smart Notebook, we've kind of showed you how, the how to use the different tools within Smart Notebook, how to add interactivity to your Smart Notebook lessons, but we haven't yet taken you and actually how to build a Smart Notebook lesson. And so in today's show, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to actually build a Smart Notebook lesson. Now, when we build lessons for Smart Notebook, we really don't want to use our Smart Board, although we can. Uh, we always want to go back to our computer and actually build our, our Smart Notebook lessons there. It's much easier and simpler, and you do not have to be attached to the actual Smart Board itself for the software to work. Now, when I build today's lesson plan, it's going to be built around a story called A Weekend with Wendell. And so let's go and take a look and see how this whole process works. Now let's go back to my computer over here and look and see what, I, what I've done so far. Now when I create my Smart Notebook lessons, one thing I want to make sure I do is I have a folder, and the one that I have folder I have here is called Wendell. Let me kind of blow that up here so we can see it. I have my weekend with Wendell, and there's my folder right here. And inside that folder, I have all the materials I want to use or put into my Smart Notebook lesson. So let's go and take a look and see what's inside that folder. So when I open up my folder, again, you blow that up so you can kind of see that a little bit better and get you back in focus here. And so I have a picture of the book, A Weekend with Wendell. I also have some mouse coloring pages that I've downloaded from the internet and also some Wend uh, Wendell notes, some teaching tools notes that I might want to use and refer back to when I'm actually looking at my lesson that I have. And of course, on this side, I have my video that I want to show. Uh, there is a video that goes to that particular book that I want to use when I'm presenting to my students. Again, more participation, more interactivity. And of course, I've got some handwriting and worry documents that the kids can use as handouts. We can actually demonstrate how to use them on the smart board itself. So I'm, gl I'm glad to see all my files here. So once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and close up here. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my Smart Notebook file. So I'm going to go here to Smart Notebook 11. We are using the latest version of Smart Notebook. If you don't have that version, please go to smarttech.com and download it. It's definitely worth your, your while to download the latest version. A lot more tools and things you can use that I think you would really be impressed with. And, and again, make your activities in your class and your lessons a lot better uh, with your students. So as you can see here, Smart Notebook is now opened up. And so the first thing that I want to do when I'm actually doing a Smart Notebook lesson is I really should create a title page. And the Smart Notebook already has title pages already created. And what's great about those pages is it allows you to give you little notes and objectives that the students can view prior to starting the lesson. So that also when you bonus points when you're actually getting evaluated by your administrator. So let's go ahead and I'm going to click on the gallery tab here. When I click on the gallery tab, I notice I have a search feature right there. Let me blow that up so you can kind of see my search feature. And there's my search feature here. What, I, what I'm going to do here in just a moment is I'm going to do a search for title pages. So let me go ahead and minimize this back. And I'm going to do my search here for, let me backspace that, title pages. Title page. And I'll miss, got that wrong there, title page. And I'm going to do a search. I'm going to hit the very first magnifying glass. It's there. It's the blue one. It's the larger one. And so I'm going to click on that. And when it comes up, I have 14 notebook file and pages. So when I click on that, I open it up. And here, as you can see, I have all these different styles of notebook pages that I can go ahead and use. Now. The ones that don't have, they're just blank here, those are going to be like flash animation that I can go ahead and use. And also the ones that just use are non-flash, the ones that have little spiral sides like a spiral notebook. And that's the ones that I kind of prefer. I, I tend to think they'll be easier to use, but it's, it's up to your choice that you can pick which one you like. Let me escape that there. And of course, as you can see, they come in all different colors to match your particular favorite colors you want to use for your class or, and so forth, or if you want to organize it by color. So I'm going to use the blue title pages. I'm just going to simply double click on it. And when I'm here, I have my title page. I just click on the title and I can go ahead and backspace that here. Let me double click on it. And let me call that a weekend of window. And 
And of course, I can go down here and list my different objectives that I have. I can go and uh, go ahead and put my uh, different objectives that I want to go and use for that particular piece. And notice here, as I scroll to the very bottom, I have teacher notes. So when I click on that particular tab, it takes me to a second page. And I can type in my subject, my topics, my grades, prior knowledge, cross-curricular activities, any kind of notes I want to go and use for my particular class. And, but for the sake of our show, I'm not going to fill that out today. So if I look at my page sorter tab, I can see I've already created two pages. And so now I want to go ahead and insert another page. And so I'll go, I'm going to click on Add a Page. So now I have three here. And usually as you're beginning to, to discuss with your lessons, you want to introduce, introduce the vocabulary. And so there's a great piece within the Lesson Activity Toolkit, which is found in the gallery. And that one is called Word Generator. And that allows us for an animation uh, frog. When you click on this frog, it actually kind of uh, burps the words out. And so again, it adds a lot of interactivity to the, to the lessons. And so let's go ahead and find that. So I'm going to type in Word Gen um, Orator. And I go to Interactive and Multimedia. And there it is, Word Generator. And I know it's interactive because it has this little red F that's right there. And I just drag that out there. I have my piece. Now to edit this particular lesson, notice on this upper left-hand corner, I have these double arrows. When I click on those double arrows, we can blow that up so you can kind of see that right there. That's where we're going to edit this particular piece right here. I'm going to click on that. And I can start typing in all the different words that I want to use for introduced to my particular lesson. So I'm going to do like toothpaste. overnight stay, or just uh, overnight. I hear it's two words, we're going to just do that one. Over. Let's put, uh, let me try um, bakery. Any kind of words I'm going to use are going to find in my particular story. Now, when I go to the very bottom, I can choose random. I want them random or frog if I want to use my character. I think the frog is the best. I'm going to keep that one there and click OK. And so now when the student comes up or the teacher comes up and clicks on the frog, the words will just kind of come out and so forth like that. So that's a really neat piece for teachers to go ahead and use. So I'm going to go ahead and jump now to my next page I want to go ahead and do. So I'm going to add a page. And on this particular page, I want to go ahead and actually show the video of my particular piece with Wendell. So to do that, the first thing I want to go ahead and do is I'm going to minimize my Smart Notebook. And I want to go to my system tray at the very bottom over here. And I want to click on the Smart Icon tool, Smart Board Tools kit here. And I'm going to click on Video Player. I need to get everything ready. So once I'm in my video player here, I want to go to my drop down list of playlists. I'm going to go to add a movie. And I know my item is in window, weekend of window. Click open. And there's my movie. Now I don't want to play it right now, so I'm just going to go and stop it here. Now, when I go back to my playlist button over here, I have a drop down feature that says save playlist. Let me kind of blow that up for us again so you can kind of see that. We have save playlist. And so I want to go ahead and choose that particular piece right there of Save Playlist. This will allow me to open up this smart video player within Smart Notebook. And so I'm going to choose that, Save Playlist. I'm going to put it in my window folder and call that Window Playlist. And click on Save. And I'm going to go and close this up right over here. Going to go back to my Smart Notebook file. And so here, I want to go ahead and I'm going to minimize my screen. It's a tad here. And I want to put a picture of the book. And so in my window folder, I have a picture of a book here, a weekend of window. It's this item right there. I'm going to simply drag and drop it into my Smart Notebook. There I go. It's a weekend of window. I'm going to close this up here. And now I have my particular piece. I'm going to blow this up by hitting the, dragging the white circle down to make it a little bit larger. And notice here I've got the drop down menu there. In this drop down menu now, I want to go ahead and link this picture 
towards the video. So now when I actually click on that book, it's going to play that particular video. So on the drop down menu screen here, I'm going to choose link. And I'm going to blow that up here so you can kind of see that. I'm going to choose link from the drop down menu right there. And once I do, it's going to give me a different menu screen to open up. And I'm going to go to a file on this computer. So once I choose a file on this computer, let me blow that up so you can kind of make sure you see everything very well. There we go. Sorry about that. I'm going to choose file on this computer. And I'm going to go ahead right now and I'm going to click on browse here and browse for that particular file. I notice when I do that, I want to put a copy of the file. I don't want to choose a shortcut because if I chance to, if I if I put that on another flash drive and I move to print another computer, I want to make sure that file is with me. So I'm going to choose a copy of that file. I'm going to browse and I know it's in my weekend with Wendell. And there it is, Wendell folder. Wendell playlist is the one I'm going to go ahead and choose and click open. And I'm going to click, oh, now it tells me launch by clicking on the corner icon or by the object. I'm going to go and choose the object. I like that, that feature very well. I'm going to click OK. And so now when I go to full page here just to view it, full screen, when I notice now that my cursor becomes a hand when I drag it over the picture, it let, lets me know that it's active. And I can go ahead now and click on it and it's going to open up my smart video player and I can start using that to present to my particular students in that class. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my regular screen view here. And I'm going to go ahead and add one more page. Now, after I've watched, or watched the video of my particular students, you may want to ask them different notes, what they thought about the different piece. Now, even though I've got a blank page and I could start writing, I kind of want to make it look a little more organized, a little more neater. So let's find some line paper that we can find in our lesson activity toolkit. So I'm going to go to my gallery. I'm going to type in the word paper. And I'm going to click on my icon here for search. And I'm going to go to background and themes. And as I go down the background and themes, I'm just going to scroll down here. I have a handwriting worksheet or line paper large. And so I'm going to go ahead and blow that up so you can kind of see that a little bit better. So there it is, my line paper large. I'm going to go and choose that and drag that out. And so when I click it here, now I can go ahead and go to my smart board. I can write different notes that I want to use my particular students. And it kind of keeps it organized and so forth. Now, there are some more things we can add to our smart notebook file. But I'm going to show you those in another video series. I'm going to continue with this as a part two. So this pretty much wraps it up for part one. So today we've learned about how to add a title page, how to create a word generator from this lesson activity toolkit, how to add a picture within Smart Notebook, and how to link that picture to a video that I want to show with my students, and of course, some background papers that are available to me within Smart Notebook. I hope you enjoyed today's show and come back for our continued working on building a lesson within Smart Notebook. Have a good day.